we're putting on Much Do About Nothing. We chose it because it's got a lot of resonances with uh, the armed services today. I wonder you will still be talking, Senior Benedict. Nobody marks you. I've been to Afghanistan and to Iraq and served out there for been sort of about six months each time. So it's been an opportunity to sort of explore what I experienced through Shakespeare's words, which has been really interesting. It, it is quite amazing. I mean, it does make you wonder if, you know, in those missing years whether Shakespeare was off soldiering somewhere because he clearly had a good idea. But maybe it was just his separation from his family that meant that he knew what it was like to go away and come back after a long time, having changed a lot. He was wont to speak plain and to the purpose, like an honest man and a soldier. A lot of it obviously comes in the first scene when they actually turn up. But I think the, the whole um, thing about Claudio, um, you know, I liked her ere I went to wars. He's gone away, a boy who, you know, thought this girl was really nice, and come back and he's ready to fall in love. Well, I am sent to bid you come in to dinner. I thank you for your pains, fair Beatrice. But obviously something's happened to Benedict as well because he's ready to fall in love and be tricked when he comes back. And I have a sneaking suspicion that Don John wasn't quite such a nasty piece of work before he went away. Maybe something happened when they were away that, that turned him into the really nasty piece of work he's become. Look, you on any other issue? It is to despite them that I would endeavour anything. There's a lot of bits like that, you know, just look at people's characters and think, you know, what is it about being away that's made them the way they are? Very rich mistress Cantor. You have. I knew that would be your answer. Obviously our people are a mixture of uh, Navy and friends and family and people who work with the Navy. Not everybody um, had experience of just basic drill, of saluting and all of that kind of stuff. So everybody who is playing somebody uh, in uniform has had to do a bit of marching around, learn how to stand to attention, stand at ease. So yeah, it's been fantastic. Really amazing opportunity for all of us. And uh, yeah, just, well, can't thank the RSC enough really for doing something so positive for amateur theatre because we get overlooked a lot, I think. And uh, it's just great to have the opportunity.